Okay, a quick one on the Python ID function. Okay, the Python ID function returns the memory address of an object. It actually returns the memory address of anything that can be used in Python. Now, I've been using the ID function to test whether objects are considered unique in Python or as a new instance. A quick example, I've got a new script here, test.py in the root of my project. I don't have anything in it, but I can print the ID of something. I'm just going to create a quick class called test with a value in it. I'm going to print the ID of that class. Print ID of test. Now I'm going to execute it. And the ID of that class is that number there. Every time I rerun Python, Python will assign it a new ID. But that ID will remain constant throughout the lifetime of the process and the lifetime of that class. I can also instantiate that class. I didn't instantiate it there. I just printed a reference to the class itself. So like that, I'm instantiating the class now. And the ID is different. We can also put those into variables. So A equals a test. That is a reference to the class. B equals test. That is also a reference to the class. C equals test. This is a new instance. D equals test and that is a new instance. So what we'll see as I print out the IDs for each of these is that the first two have the same ID. They are references to the class and these next IDs are references to instances of the class. Now we can also test the IDs of the methods or attributes in a class. So let's do that just setting a b c d etc to be the value attribute now. now i'm going to print the id of that value attribute and they actually all point to the same thing they will all point to the same value as one also we go 20 they all equal the same thing so python considers one test value an instance of test value another instance of test value all equaling the same thing so id is good to know whether something is unique or not if i was to create a init method inside this class to find init self and just pass. I can also print out the ID of the init method there. Comment those out. I'm going to say C equals a reference to init. And both instances, init methods, point to different memory locations. Let's create something custom like method and see how that looks. I'm going to look at Okay, and let's have a look at that. And the IDs are different. Now I'm going to convert that into a static method. Give that a test, and the IDs are the same. So there you go. That's an introduction to the ID function inside Python. Everything in Python has an ID, and you can just query those just by printing it out. ID, whatever. Also note that even simple things in Python, like numbers, 1 and 2 and 3, will have their own IDs. So those IDs are all different. And every time you start Python, those IDs will be different. Even none has an ID. But none seems to be always the same number. Doesn't matter how many times you start Python. Very good. Python ID function. In the next section, we'll talk about the singleton. Excellent.